Good day. We're here to talk about proper operation of the Atex 12S syringe pump for anesthesia using propofol applications. It's a very simple, very cost effective device. We turn the device on with the on off switch. It goes through an internal check of the circuitry. It reminds us of the continuous rate mode and now asks us to insert the syringe in the slots. It'll prompt us through by reading the screen on exactly what step is required next. We simply take the syringe plunger, put into the pusher block with the left hand and right hand arrows. We advance the syringe until it aligns with the groove. We then bring over the plunger. It now confirms that we have a 60 ml BD USA syringe, and that's what we're using. It'll accept down to a 10 ml up to a 100 ml syringe. If that information is correct, we simply press the enter button. The dose mode, are we going to dose in mics per kilogram per minute, which is UG per kg per mn? We are, so we simply press enter. If we're dealing with propofol, of course, the concentration will always be 10 milligrams per ml, so we press enter. Patient weight, 100 kilogram might be a good example for our demonstration, so we'll just press enter. The infusion rate I've got right now set at 60 micrograms per kilogram per minute, but if I want to change that rate, we simply press the program button. For example, we'll make it 80 kilograms and press enter. The bolus dose, I've got in here, for example, 250 micrograms per kilogram. We'll just keep that now for our demonstration. We'll press enter. We have an adjustable occlusion pressure alarm. Many clinicians choose to keep it at the high level to prevent inadvertent occlusions and inadvertent alarms. We press enter. Total ready to run, we press yes. And now we press start. It's going to pump away at that 80 micrograms per kilogram per minute as it displays on the pump. Simply to change the rate while it's running, 80. For example, if I want to make it 60, if I want to increase it, for example, to 100, enter. Let's say I want to give a bolus dose during therapy. I press the bolus button, press yes. It's now going to give the program bolus value. We have it set into 500 ml per hour, which many clinicians have agreed upon as a great rate for a bolus during therapy. It gave the bolus, it goes right back in the continuous rate. If I need to stop it, stop it for whatever reason, I want to start it back up. The device can be tabletop. We have a pole mount built to the back. Where you can just mount the pump itself to the IV pole. It's very simple, it's very cost effective. I'm confident you'll be happy for many years with your decision to use the ATEX 12S for anesthesia applications. Thank you so much.